Hello everybody, welcome back to Discovery Bay. It's been quite a while since the last video on this channel as a whole and of course in this series. Uh, I don't want to go on about that too much though because we do have stuff to talk about what we build in this video and I do plan to make another video soon where I will address the channel, maybe a bit of a channel update so you can stay tuned for that. I will also be going to Alton Towers next week, so you can hopefully expect some kind of mini vlog. So that's just what's coming up in the next week or so. So I'm really glad to be uploading again. But yeah, just stay tuned for a channel update. This isn't a channel update, this is a Planet Coaster video. So I'll try and not talk about the status of the channel too much in this video. So in this park, Discovery Bay, we are going to be building a Spanish bell tower today in my area because of course if you remember this is a collaboration park so this is just my area there's other areas which are getting built now as we speak or oh, I hope guys come on you need to build stuff come on yeah let's do this and yeah on this Spanish bell tower we are going to be putting plaster on the wall like this uh, this is quite a different style of building I've never done anything like this before uh, this is yeah it's just to make it look different so instead of just building with one wall we're using two layers here and I've used the lower layer of the wall which were made by Ashley aka my curious mind so these are TMTK pieces with pretty cool textures and I've gone over the top with these plaster pieces they have different sizes and I've been using the circular ones quite a lot to make it look more natural so it appears that these bits of plaster have actually got gotten old and cracked off the walls so trying to make it look as uh, spontaneous as possible um, that's yeah that, having the circle pieces really helped me with this for sure uh, but we can pretty much duplicate this over each side and then just change each one uh, so it doesn't look like I've duplicated it across but obviously there's no need to make the entire side of the wall again so I'm gonna do that because it's easier and if I can rearrange them just like you can see me doing now it doesn't look anything like the other side of the wall really uh, but also duplicating them across allows me to have little uh, gaps that go across the corner which I think looks quite cool but that is all that there is for this tower or for the walls of this tower at least we've still got to build the the top of the tower so we're making a little overhang here out of uh, crypt stone trim pieces I believe uh, these are in the spooky pack um, but the reason I picked these pieces to use is because they have a very convenient corner piece and when you're making a building like this that's always a helpful thing to have and we're just putting a door at the bottom and windows around the edges so that the walls don't look too bland, repetitive. Um, yeah, because these kind of towers don't really have much going on unless you're at the top. Uh, the walls are fairly plain because there's not, like, there's no actual use for them. Uh, so to try and make it look less bland, I did add the texture that I've already spoken about in this video, and I will also add some dirt decals to make it look a little bit more weathered later on but making an arch here I decided to do this also out of plaster because it allows me to improvise more and get a, a shape that's more fitting for the building and we are going to put some wooden roofing and flooring in here you can see that there are six display sequences there hang on there's six pairs of display sequences so 12 in total and each of those are for each hour in game and I've set it up so that every hour in game the bell will go off the appropriate number of times so if it's one o'clock it goes dong if it's two o'clock it goes dong dong just like that you know how it goes uh, and that's why I've got that in because it is a bell tower I thought it would be cool if the bell goes off you know uh, it just makes sense doesn't it and now we're working on the roof and I'm quite happy with how the roof turned out. I've never really built a roof like this before. I was actually watching an old video of Eura to be inspired by this. 
He's a Dutch Planet Coaster YouTuber who is probably one of the most consistent around, so if you're looking for inspiration in this game, go and watch him because some of his builds are so inspiring. And I think it was an old Baroque style build that he made and that's where I took the inspiration to build a roof just like this one. Um, you can see that I keep changing the colour of this actually because I wasn't really too sure on what colour it should be. Obviously the theme colour for the whole area is orange but an orange roof doesn't completely make sense so it went to become grey black for a bit but I think at the end we finish it on green so it looks like it's a copper roof because when copper wears or weathers it becomes green somehow. I'm not sure the science behind that but yeah it just looks, I think it looks good enough. Um, and there we put some fences in here as well and I will later turn these to orange uh, just to keep that theme going for the whole area. But we're going to put a cross on top and I don't want to get too religious or political but basically every single Spanish bell tower or Portuguese, well it, obviously it's a Portuguese park but this area is in Spain uh, or in, in a, it's meant to be in Spain but it's still in Port... Ugh, you, you know what I mean. It's that kind of area which is obviously Christian in religion so all of these buildings have uh, crosses on and that's just what it looks like so that's why it's there it, uh, you know if I was doing an Islamic area so I think in a previous area we did an Arabic kind of area so they would have the uh, Islam moon on the top I believe uh, so with it being in a Christian area there's going to be that cross on top and yeah we've got some tiling on the floor now uh, this is just the same as what we've done before really just covering up that floor space of course we're not using real in-game paths here and doing that definitely helps because I can basically make this plaza whatever shape I like and I don't have to worry about guests clipping through anything uh, so now we're going to be working on some custom supports which is this uh, element where there is actually a little bit of air time I think it's like minus 0.3 G's which may be too much for family coaster because it's actual negative G's but it's only floater uh, it's obviously on the Gerstler bobsleds they don't really give air time but they still give you maybe zero G that kind of feeling uh, but just a few supports on this area where the coaster goes quite close between a wall and the bell tower so this is quite a good finale to the end of the ride and I am actually considering putting some kind of ride camera, some photo thing here where the camera flashes as you go through and it's just kind of, obviously the camera's not going to work for real but it's a bit more interaction um, and I just think that would be quite cool. I think it's something I'm planning on having whether we'll actually have the photo booth at the end available to buy photos from. Obviously there's no guests so that won't happen but I may use Photoshop to make these photos or I guess the common excuse you could use is to say oh sorry folks the photo booth is closed and then you can just put a shutter over it which <laughs> saves a lot of effort I guess. Uh, but now we're going to be fencing off this area and we're also putting in what I imagine to be a gate so that staff can access into that ride area because you know they've got to check the track check the bolts uh, some people could drop a phone in there so they've got to go in so you know they kind of do need access to pretty much every area of the ride uh, or at least as much as possible so just for realism uh, there's a gate there to allow staff to enter this area um, but I'm quite happy with how that layer of fencing turned out actually because it's it's got a mix between realism and uh, the theme because you can see that the layer of the bottom is orange which obviously is the theme for this area, big orange, I could call it Donald Trump land if I wanted. Uh, and we're now going to be working on a pergola here and this is to act as a little bit of shelter underneath the track because there could be risks from uh, loose articles so I wanted this to still fit with the theme and make it look a little bit more busy with more things going on so I built a simple wooden frame here and then it's quite easy just putting different bushes on the top 
and I think it turns out quite nice because uh, it looks natural of course but it's also realistic because this would prevent or it would reduce the risk of people on the paths getting hit by loose articles and I did actually plan to duplicate this over to the other side but it was a, it was not the right size to fit with the supports basically so I decided to do something else and shortly you will see me put uh, like some practical safety nets on there uh, but that is really all I've got to say I think at this point you're now really kind of seeing how the area is going to look when it's finished you're starting to first get a glimpse of that because quite a fair amount of area around the ride is now complete obviously there's a lot more to do uh, in future episodes we plan to start on the queue quite soon so stay tuned for that I'm quite excited to start building it and I'll see you next time goodbye It's a chill ride.